Okay, that clip was pretty funny, right? That was actually at my school. Um, yeah. Up in George Bible. As you can see, this is an ordinary stripe. Well, maybe you guys know that it's not ordinary, um, because, uh, I made a video where I modified it, or it was already modded. But anyways, um, those are just mechanical lock removal, and you guys might th be thinking, what the heck happened to your shell? I was actually trying to solder, <laughs> and I actually did solder a few stuff, but I won't tell you. I may have soldered the plastic just a little bit. But I actually have this wire. Well, I used like an, like an inch and a half of wire because my black wire, let me see, just open the jam door. My black wire in there, I'll just clear it in for you. That black wire, it was, it was actually not long enough, so I had to add to it. I added um, uh, just a little bit of that wire. I soldered the wire to the other wire and then soldered that wire to the negative terminal. Yeah. And the pusher, the spring that that um, like brings the trigger back, actually, um, uh, the plastic, the little nub, sorry, I have a jam. The little nub, uh, my soldering iron just melted that so, like, deep. Me to you. Um, that I actually, that my spring just kept slipping up, so I just fixed that with some hot glue. And now, down to the firing test. As you can see, it's very loud. I think the rev up time increased. I don't know why. And there's actually just a little, I think a little bit of piece of solder or a screw is actually um, in my, my blaster and I don't want to open it and get up. This is actually my science fair project. It's about circuits and electronics. Um, the internals will be seen in another video, as I said before, I think. I think I said that before, I think. But yeah, um, the actual mods was, I cut the black wire. Well, I cut the, the thermistor, obviously, so I, that's where I'm running the ultrafires. Um, I cut off the thermistor board. I accidentally cut off a little bit too much of the black wire, trying to take off the cover. And so um, I cut up my, my like 18 gauge wire, I think, and I cut that. So, and then I soldered the thin wire, the stock wire, to the modified wire. Then I soldered that modified wire to the terminal. And then the red wire from the motor, which is the positive wire, uh, goes connected to the blue wire that was on the switch. So I just took out all the locks. As you can see, it will rev with no magazine. And the jammed are open. It will rev with the up. Oh, sorry about the clock angle. And they're open, and it'll rev it in, in any way. So, so um, uh, yeah, strife internals will be in another video. I actually use a little bit of hot glue to also um uh, stick the wires in the right place, and um, I'll show you how that the 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 attachments are still compatible. Well, the stock because the stock plane was actually jacked up, so they fit. But I'm pretty sure it's going to be pretty hard to take them off. I'm going to do that off camera. Never mind. Um, it releases really smoothly. Camera <laughs> giggity gear. But anyways, um, that slides on. Yeah. And off. On. And off. Thanks for rocking the rolling slides. Just remember, slay your fly, yo.